Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video series, we are going to begin Angular 2. Nowadays, Angular 2 is a very popular technology in order to create the websites. So, when you are familiar with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, that means if you can create a basic web application, you can integrate Angular 2 in order to make a very much responsive and better performance website. So, before getting started with Angular 2, make sure you have the sufficient knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. That means you know all the basic fundamentals of these technologies. Apart from that, you should be familiar with TypeScript as well as this Angular 2 is coldly written in TypeScript itself. Basically, TypeScript is very much related to JavaScript. Just the basic difference is that JavaScript is not a type safe language, but TypeScript is a type safe scripting language. But internally, whenever you will write a code in TypeScript that will get compiled to JavaScript before your application will actually use that. That means we will write JavaScript, but our application internally will still go for JavaScript only. All right. So the benefit that we will get that it, our application will remain type safe throughout the path. Apart from these things, you should also be familiar with NPM. That means node package manager which is basically a part of Node.js but here we will use this NPM in order to set the environment for our Angular 2. So once you know all these things, you are good enough to continue with the Angular 2. But if you don't have an idea, you can go through the text or video tutorials for the HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Node.js in Tutorials Point. Now, Let's get started with the basic of Angular 2, like what this Angular 2 is all about. Maybe you have heard about AngularJS or maybe some of you may know AngularJS as well. But throughout the way, you can see that in our prerequisite, AngularJS is not specified anywhere. That means before getting started with Angular 2, you are not required to be familiar with AngularJS. You can directly start with Angular 2 itself. All right, because AngularJS is a very separate thing and this is completely a rewriting of AngularJS. So everything which we will start here has no relation with AngularJS directly. Though if you have the knowledge of AngularJS, somewhere it will help you out in learning the concept because few of the concepts are similar but not syntactically at all. So in this particular tutorial, if even if you are not familiar with AngularJS, we are going to start everything from the scratch and nowhere you will find the difficulty to learn this Angular 2. Now, let's see what this Angular 2 is all about. It's a TypeScript based open source front-end web application platform. As I just said in the introduction that this Angular 2 is written in TypeScript. So TypeScript based means it is written in TypeScript. Open source means you don't need to pay anything, you can download it, you can customize, customize it as per your convenience. Frontend means it is not at all related with anything like backend or web server. It will be for the frontend means UI development in a much better and performance efficient way. Web application platform developed by Google in September 2014. So this is this product is actually launched by Google. And nowadays in this so short span, like three to four years, this is very common in the development world nowadays. It's a complete rewrite from the same team that built AngularJS. As I said, it's a complete rewrite means even if you don't know AngularJS, you should not worry at all. It is completely new thing. So you can directly get started with the Angular 2. It's used to design single page application. The purpose is still the same. AngularJS was also designed for this single page application and this Angular 2 is still working with the same logic that is single page application means even if you will navigate through multiple pages that will just render a partial page into your current location and every application means the complete application will be rendering in the same page that's in a common page single page application and it's licensed under MIT, that is Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Now, 
If you are family with Angular JS, you might have a question like, why should we go for Angular 2, right? If you don't know Angular JS, you can directly get started with this, all right? But if you know Angular JS, then why Angular 2? That's the next question. So here we have the answer that it is performance-wise, it's far better than Angular JS, all right? Because here it also uses browser utilities to if we, to uh, emphasize the performance things supports mobile application that is i think that's one of the very major reason why we should learn angular 2 because nowadays people are not just limited to the uh, laptop or desktop machines to access a website they access it from the mobile as well or tablets as well so most of the technologies like bootstrap or something which, whichever we are learning are coming in responsive way it means regardless the screen size our web application should work in all the screen sizes so it also supports the mobile application means your website will also uh, run better in mobiles as well provides new web terminologies like here you will get so many new things like shadow or some DOM features that will be newly added in the angular 2 easy to implement here for getting started with the thing angular provides a predefined pre-written code in the github you can directly go and copy that and after that as per your requirement you can start continuing the modifications in that same application and you can add as many as features as you want improved dependency injection this dependency injection is basically one of the very popular terminology which we use in our web applications or any application development and in angular it is again a very popular feature that is dependency injection obviously we are going to give a deeper look in dependency injection in this video series but for now i will just tell you that when we implement the dependency injection the way we do that is very convenient that means if you will do some changes in your actual uh, service you will not have to make any change in your core application. So this is what we will implement in our coming video. All right. And flexible routing. Routing is basically something when it's a single page application, but still single page will not be enough for the clients. They have to go for the different pages for the different features. All right. So maybe if you are working on a, a mailbox, maybe you are coming to inbox, sent items. There are different pages, but it will all be done by routing so that's why it's saying it is flexible routing means on a single page itself you can render the multiple views and it will give you a very good performance now the next thing which we are going to discuss here is the building blocks of angular 2 like what all things are we going to work with to create an angular 2 application so component Basically, everything which we make in Angular 2 is a component, all right? So the way we create a component, it is something like you can import an external component inside it. You can export your own component to something other, all right? So the basic building block of your Angular 2 application is component. After that, we have modules, obviously. It helps us, Angular helps us in making the modular application, means you can create small modules and you can integrate them all together at the end templates when you create a component it's all about like how you want to render those components in the web page so that will be decided by the templates metadata is the information about information when you create some service when you create some component you have to pass the metadata like what this particular component or service is all about and services services are here in angular in order to make the solid principle right like in solid principle as it stands for single responsibility principle but in the application you may find some of the code which is very much repetitive so in order to remove those repetition we introduce service and will do a single task inside these services and wherever we want to ex execute that particular task we will call the service. So these are the basic building blocks with which we are going to start the Angular 2. Now, apart from that, if you want to know more about it, you can follow the official site that is www.angular.io 
here you will get the uh, all the environment setup details everything right there along with the documentation and as i said like angular provides you the pre written template uh, which is already written means few of the code is already written out there so that will that you can find there in the github so during the environment setup we will go to the github and we will see how we can use that particular code from angular so that is all about this particular video in our next video we will see about the architecture of angular